Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I like to make content creation fun by finding ways to make it easier. So today, I am going to walk you through creating a design in Canva, and we're going to specifically be making an ebook. I've created tons of ebooks inside of Canva, but I've actually never shared the process. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how I design one from scratch, step by step. The reason why I decided to make this video is because I love Canva. It's one of my favorite creative tools because you can make anything from ebooks to social posts. I just recently started to create my reels inside of there as well. And even if you've never used a design app before, Canva makes it very easy for beginners. So I just wanted to make a simple beginner friendly ebook just to show you how fast and fun the process really is. And you know, I don't like to waste time. So we're going to get right into it. All right, I am inside of my Canva right now. And I want to make an ebook. So this is also available on your phone. You can go right up to templates. And I'm going to start with an 8.5 by, by 11 layout. This is perfect for printable or digital ebooks. You can use a blank page from scratch or search ebook, which is what we're going to do under templates. We're going to find something clean and minimal that I can customize. Canva has tons of eBooks. As you can see, we are going through hundreds of them right now. Now, if you want to get more specific, you can type in, let's do baking. And anything that comes from this baking is going to be right underneath of here. And then you can look up all of these kinds of covers, you know, for your ebook. So let's say I wanted to do fitness. We can look up a fitness ebook, tons of them available. Let's do content creator. Cause I just saw that in there. Content creator content. Yep. Here we go. Some of these are more presentations. Okay. But you get the point. So let's do, we can do planner. Daily planners, 2022, whatever you are wanting to possibly sell, it's in here. So let's go to, hmm. Okay, let's say I teach people how to make passive income. You can go in here, you can preview it. All right, I'm starting to like it. Perfect. It's got five pages. I can always add more, but you go into customize this template and it will open up a template for you. So I always start with a cover title and then colors and then fonts. I definitely love mixing like one serif font and one sans serif for contrast, but I'll go for something soft and modern today. So you can change the vibe of the entire ebook by just picking a new color palette. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So five ways to make passive income. So if we go over here to brand, you can set up your brand kit. So let's, and you can set up different brand kits. So let's create a new brand kit, add new, add palette. And I'm going to use some colors. I think it has some colors in here that I've already used before. You can add a custom palette, go into any color you want. I always love this like pastel neon yellow green. So I'm going to choose that one. Then let's make a light pink. Let's do like a charcoal color. Always add a white in there. Okay. And let's add a black. Okay, perfect. So we have a color palette right here. I'm going to press save. And let's say I don't like the colors in this ebook. Well, I'm going to just go into my brand kit, go to color palettes, and I'm going to press shuffle. And you see how it has, it says apply to all pages right here. So I'm just going to do that. 
And there you go. You have changed every single color on your ebook, your new ebook, like that easily. So then we're going to go into fonts. There's all this other stuff inside of your brand kit that you can add. You don't need to right now. Let's go to fonts, um, title. You can always upload fonts. I like a Gilda display. So we'll have that as the title and we'll make it 32. And then we can use, these are all the ones that I've uploaded, uploaded fonts. I can show you how to do that. Um, you just go right up here. You have to do it on the desktop version and you can do add new upload a font right there. Okay. Let's just do comic sans and let's just say that that's, that is my brand. Yeah. So you go to your text styles and then you go subtitle. And sometimes I think it'll ask if you want to do this for each page. Let's see, Gilda, see, change all right there. So it's going to change all of, all of them. Yep, see that's already there, Gilda, Gilda. Okay, so let's change our paragraph to go to text styles, subtitle. Sometimes you need to do this multiple times. I don't know why. Okay. Change all, okay, there it goes. So we have Gilda and then we have our Comic Sans, which is, okay, so it took a little while, but then you go to change all and yada yada. All right, from there, you can just edit it the way that you want. Five ways to make passive income. You can change out this photo. You can go into elements and look for, let's say passive income, go to photos, and you can change this photo out with anything that you want. So I like this one, so we're just going to change that out. And we can, if you have uploads, you can upload any uh, photos or videos right here. Let me see, I like this one about the author. Let's start here, what you need to do first. And let's say that you really don't know what kind of chapters to make. I would just go in here, copy this, go into ChatGPT, paste it. I am creating an ebook about this topic. Can you help me create five steps for this ebook? And we'll just leave it at that. Oh, it didn't get the thing, okay. Five ways to make passive income, perfect. And there you go. You can do, there's step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. And so you would go back in here, five ways. You could do about, you can do, um, let's see, let's go to design, table of contents. Let's say, sorry, how I did that was I went over to design. Let's say I wanted to add a page in here and we're gonna do a table of contents page. Instead, oh, so this is what you would do. You dupl duplicate page three. And then let's say we want a table of contents for page three, and we want to add our brand kit. There we go. So you can do step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and then you can get rid of you know, these ones. Obviously customize it. Okay, and then let's say I wanted to do take notes or um, print your ebook out. You can add something like this. Let's duplicate that again. Add a notes page, add as a new page. And then again, go to our brand kit, shuffle it. Oops, we don't want it black. That one works. Perfect. Okay, and then we can go to content creator checklist, I don't know. You can add something in like content ideas, brand kit, change those colors. There you go. 
So inside your passive income, you can have content ideas and then you can go into, let's create a new page. Let's change the page to white and let's start adding in our steps. All right, so step one, how to build a digital product that sells while you sleep. Obviously, just, I always like it to be on the side, it's easier to read. And then you can just edit it and make this bold. No, oh, it doesn't let me. Some of the fonts, they don't let you. But this one, like, see, it'll let me right there. Okay, that's fine, we'll keep it like this and maybe we'll underline it. And let's just, Let's make it look a little pretty. So I wanna add a border around it. So literally you just search for border and go to graphics. So we can put a border around this. If it doesn't fit, find another one. That one's not going to fit for me. And I like these little corner ones too. So if you can't find one, you can just find something like this. And then duplicate it. Spin it around and put it on this side too. So then you have something that looks like that. I did want to try to make a, oh, here's something that you can do. You can go into shapes, which is usually, let's do, it's already, see it's already at the top. Rectangle, go into, just click on the square. It's gonna look scary at first, but then you can, it, it lets you customize the shape. So what we're going to do is make this transparent and then go into these three things that says stroke style. Click that and boom, you have a border. That easy. And let's say, um, let's actually make it the inside white. And let's say, okay, so your words are hidden now. Go to position and make it go to the back. And this, this way you can actually change the color of the background. So now it looks like that. Now it looks pretty pretty. And if you wanna add stickers, let's just do like stickers. Look for a sticker. We're doing passive income, so let me look for sleep sticker. And I'm just looking for anything that'll go with the title. Oh, look at this. It's colorful, it's pretty, and you're snoozing. I'll just put that right up there. Money sticker. I like this one, it goes with the style. You can just put this down there. Boom, step one. And so instead of creating an entire new page, you just go to duplicate page, you delete this, go into your ChatGPT. step two, boom. And there we go. Obviously we don't want it all underlined. Okay, and obviously change out the stickers. And let's say you want to elaborate on step one, just duplicate it and then maybe you can add information that you know of in here with links to affiliate products or whatever. Okay. Perfect. And then on step two, we can change the background. We can make it pretty. Step two, earn through affiliate marketing. and. The same goes for step three, step four, step five. Now, obviously, ChatGPT is very generic. So if you want it to be more specific, I would say, okay, I specifically help people make passive income or want to help them because I have been able to do it by renting out my house or, uh, you know, I have a snoo. My snoo, you probably don't know what a snoo is, but my snoo, which is a bassinet for our baby, it was 1700 but I rent it on Facebook Marketplace, so maybe we can niche down how to make passive-ish income by renting out on Facebook Marketplace. I'm literally making this up. 
okay, so you've customized it a little bit. So now it's not, oh, hey, this is how you make um, passive income. Literally, um, let me, okay. Literally, if you hyper niche down, it is, people know exactly what they're getting. So let's see what um, ChatGPT just told me. Okay, perfect. Five ways to make passive-ish income by renting what you already own. This is amazing. So then we can just copy and paste and do everything else. So the inventory shift walk, it tells you like, instead of letting things sit in storage, start by viewing them as assets, start small with baby gear rentals. Like I turned my $1,700 bassinet. My son could only use it for about three months because he grew so big. And now we rent it out for $300 um, every two months. So it's about $150 a month. And yeah. And then expand into high demand seasonal items, rent out paddle boards, coolers, projectors. And I use all of this by doing Facebook marketplace. So, I mean, that's just in and of itself, like how easy this can be. Let me see. I love this title actually. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Five ways to make passive ish income by renting what you already own. See how hyper niched down that is. It's like, oh, wow. So I own things and I can actually rent them out and it's going to be passive income. I know exactly what I'm getting. I'm going to be renting out things that I already own instead of saying five ways to make passive income. Do you see the difference there? So yeah, um, pretty self-explanatory when you are ready to, I would definitely put, um, if you are advertising for any other products or anything, definitely put those links in here. Once you're ready, you're going to press share and you're going to download this as a PDF standard, okay? And then don't forget to, how to make passive-ish income. Don't forget to title it right there. So you're gonna go into download, PDF standard, and then you're going to download it. It will download to your computer. Another way to sell this is through, um, let's say, so here we go. We have the PDF right here. It's downloaded to our computer. This is what it's going to look like when someone buys it. Obviously mine is very incomplete, but you can do a, let's see, only you can access, anyone with the link can access. So then you change, you change the, anyone with this link can view, copy the link. And then and this would be, this is what I've seen people do on Etsy is they make a whole nother PDF Let's just create a blank, um, do a custom size eight by 11 right here. So sometimes you, if you can't sell a PDF or like if you don't have Linktree or stand store or anything like that, and let's say you're just selling on Etsy or whatever, you can go into here and just say, thank you for purchasing email contact please click here to access your ebook and then you're going to select all click this link button and then you're going to put your link right there done and so you'll be able to save this as a pdf and when someone purchases they'll get this PDF and they'll get something sent through or they'll get something sent to their email and they will be able to access this link. And when I click on the link, it goes right to the ebook, but they're not going to be able to edit it. It's just so they can view it. And now we have this really pretty ebook. That is all for today. I do have a Canva crash course that makes figuring out other things in Canva way easier. I'll link that down in the description, but I hope you enjoyed this. If you're a complete beginner in this space, welcome. And I'm so happy that you chose me to watch that very simple and easy tutorial. I hope I didn't lose you. <laughs> if you liked this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. That's it. You know, my process from blank page to a finished ebook. Canva makes it very easy to build something beautiful, even if you're not a designer. If there's another ebook that you'd like to see next for me to create, let's do it. Put it down in the comments. I do have a Canva crash course that teaches you all the ins and outs of Canva in case you got confused along the way or you want to design something else. I will link that down below, but I will see you on the next video. And if you like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.